Turning now to a bill sitting in the Texas legislature, it could bench transgender athletes from playing sports in college. First, a follow-up to Governor Greg Abbott's calls for changing hiring policies in Texas. Texas A&M is the first institution to take action, scratching their diversity statements from hiring and admission policies. Now, Angela Box and Dallas Jones are here to weigh in on Governor Greg Abbott's request in a memo three weeks ago they're back again to talk about it tonight so Dallas your thoughts on Texas A&M moving forward with this and that we are even dealing with this here in the state of Texas I, I mean this is a case of the dominoes falling as 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 they do I mean the governor has has made the statement that this is what he wants for our state uh, Texas A&M ironically being one of the first to put a policy in place that not only is going to deal with 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 employment but admissions this is regressive. This is a university that has a history of low enrollment. They have struggled to get diversity into that into that university. And so they're rolling back the hands of time. And so with all and that really quick, if they decide to say no, if they ever decided to say no to Governor Abbott, what would happen to that university? Well, I think you would find that there would probably be a new chancellor of that <laughs> university. <laughs> like Maybe that. Some changes to the, <laughs> to the system's regent. Um, the governor has that power. Mm -hmm. And so even for for those that are reluctant and also be clear like a and m the texas a and m system has done this you also have places like prairie view university that are a part of that a and m system and so you know this applies to all state institutions agencies it could be texas southern university it could be um wherever wherever diversity is is part of the goal or part of the culture and so it's it's a slippery slope as 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 i said it would be when we first learned of this memo angela box do you see this as a good thing as a bad thing that this no diversity policy is well you know here's the, the the gaslighting that i think keeps happening on the left they want to pretend that things happen in a vacuum we do not live in 1870 we do not live in 1916 we do not live in 1940 we do not live in 1968 so the affirmative action policies that were put forward over 50 years ago to increase diversity in colleges, in, in the workplace, which I think were needed at the time, I do not think are needed anymore. What we need to be focused on, because a lot of universities are going backwards, you talk about going backwards, are going backwards, taking down their standards, you know, law schools aren't, you know, LSATs aren't required anymore, test scores aren't required anymore. So this this is actually regressive. I think, I think this is a bigger picture thing, where the Democrat Party has systematically destroyed public education education they've destroyed the black community and uh, this is this is the domino that's happening we need to get back to educating children in basic uh, reading writing arithmetic and behaving as civilized members of society you and know. then you have the diversity takes care of itself ahead, because yeah. they're qualified you know it's interesting that every time we have these discussions and you, you I, I can't tell whose point you're arguing yours or mine you're saying we're not like living in 1916 or 19 this year or that year and yet you all keep trying to take us back there I'm no. quite sure that no. you don't know that you don't understand why there would be a need for these policies because I don't think you've ever had to walk through society as a, as a person of color and so while there's this idea that racism has been eradicated in and and that end and that there's this idea that these policies exist because we are not good enough to compete and you're saying they've lowered LSAT scores and they've lowered this. I'm that's not the, not the saying issue. They're good, not that's good not the issue. Compete. I'm saying that's what the left has done. The left is saying the black and brown people can't compete at the level to get into a law school, to get into an A&M. And I can tell you right now that the trustees or the donors of A&M are pissed off at how woke A&M has become. I know for a fact that this is donor pushed and it's going to happen in other schools. And what we need to get back to is, it, is, it, is a well-rounded education for every child regardless of ethnicity regardless of race or gender take out that that immutable characteristic that none of us can control I can't control that I'm white you can't control you're black I I'm think black I think it needs, to, it needs to be done away with, and we need to get back to the idea of valuing content of character, not color of skin. Did you just say AM, a and white donors want to make a and No, white I did again? not. I oh. did not. That's, <laughs> that's a nice little uh, you, <laughs> dog whistle. That would have been cool, though. Yeah, right. Still ahead here on the face.